the literature around spirituality, whether it's the sort of uh, elegant simplicity of Lao Tzu or the charming voluptuousness of the Vedas, the passion of Catholicism, the potency of Islam, everyone is saying we are all one. We are all one. Don't get confused. Don't get confused by your own conflict. Don't get confused by the contradictions in your own anat anatomical and biological drive. Don't get confused. Breathe. Take a moment. Look inside yourself. There's something else there. There's an awareness behind your fear. There's an awareness behind your desire. There's an awareness. And if you strengthen your association, your connection to that awareness... It's possible for you to, ch well, your life has changed. Your life has changed in that awareness. And it's, I think it transmits and it connects. I think perhaps the parameters that, are through w that, that we currently regard the world as defined by, me in my little individual body with my little individual voice and individual haircut and individual opinions and views and beliefs and these words that I'm saying, is a temporary expression of a much more potent thing. And if were we to have different eyes, different senses, we would see the vibrations leaking and bleeding and glowing out and tangling amidst one another in some constant, infinite, fractal whir of interconnectivity. But what has happened, I think, as a result of transcendental meditation, certainly it's run concurrently with it, is a sense that I've got some, I have now an ability to, I've cultivated an ability to step back from the phenomena of my life, from the mechanics of my feelings and go, right, do I have to, do I really want to lose my temper in this situation? Or do I really want to act on that desire? Or do I really want to act on that fear? And sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't have the freedom. I don't, I still do. But increasingly, I've noticed that the power, the hypnotic power of the material world has decreased. A lot, some of that may be because I've been doing the same thing for a long time. I've like, you know, when I wanted to be famous, I wasn't famous yet. So was, for me, it could have been a solution. It could have been an epiphany. It could have been enlightenment, a revolution, a transition. But certainly since practicing regular meditation, my the, the way I see myself, the way I see the world and what I want for myself has changed. It's interesting, isn't it, that the vast majority of our anatomical functions occur without cognizance, without instruction. We are sitting on this, you know, when people go, what's going on behind the scenes? Are there Illuminati? What's happening? Perhaps because our whole body is run without our permission, our kidneys, our gastric system, uh, our cells are healing and reproducing without any knowledge of it. So there are obviously different forms of consciousness. There are different forms of being, even within myself or anyone as an individual. Meditation, I think, has given me a new... Um, aspect a new facet through which to access that so like i always have to be mindful of pointing out that i've not it's not like oh yeah i used to be like a crazy drug addict and a womanizer and now i'm just basically sat around with a blanket wrapped around me looking at a cool calm lake and thinking george harrison lyrics you know I, i'm not i'm still like you know i have it in me i've got desire in me i've got fear in me i've got lust i mean i'm full of human flesh-based stuff but what's happened is a neglected aspect of me has been awoken and cultivated through this meditative practice. It's going to be extremely confusing for you. You're going to receive signals that you do not have the mental apparatus to interpret. You have got a, culture, a cultural matrix that is broadcast information right into your little young brain that's going to make you feel excessive fear and unnecessary desire. Through the experience of transcendental meditation, you will learn to filter and judge this information from a new perspective. If I'd had access to transcendental meditation when, you, when I was your age, I may not have squandered the decades I did pursuing drugs and other sens sensual experiences. Transcendental meditation in adolescence, in your teenage years or in your childhood, is going to be invaluable to you.